Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. When the occlusal path record has successfully been completed, the framework with the attached wax recording is returned to the curing cast and looted firmly in place. The wax record is then boxed with modeling clay. Modeling clay is preferred over wax for this procedure. Heat generated when using wax could distort the occlusal impression. Artificial stone will be placed into this box pattern to form the occluding template against which the replacement teeth will be set. The investing clay is formed to the peripheral borders of the wax pattern and appropriate occlusal stops are provided on the stone cast. An anterior keyed stop and two posterior stops are provided to assure that the proper vertical relation of the mounting is maintained at all times. A wax form is placed in the tongue space of the curing cast to prevent the investing stone from flowing into this area and obscuring vision during the setting of teeth. Separating film is placed on the occlusal stops before the stone mix for the occlusal template is applied. The first segment of stone is carefully worked into the occlusal stop. A dye type improved stone is used to reduce the possibility of abrasion. Any alteration of the template would result in occlusal inaccuracies. Larger portions of stone are used to bridge the tongue space. This template is allowed to set and is not removed from the curing cast until the articulator mounting has been completed. The knobs of stone on the template help to secure it to the articulator. After the stone has set, the base of the curing cast is lubricated so that it can readily be removed from the mounting later in the procedure. All excursive movements have been generated into the wax pattern. Therefore, nothing more than a hinge type of articulator mounting is necessary for setting the replacement teeth. When the mounting is secure and the plaster is set, the two halves of the articulation are separated and all boxing compound and wax are removed. With the wax and compound removed, the articulator is closed and the occlusal stops are inspected to be sure that the relationships have not changed during the mounting operation.
At this point, the curing cast may be separated from the mounting. The bevel that has been created on the base of the curing cast will permit accurate remounting into the articulation at any time. The framework is removed from the curing cast. The curing cast can now be replaced on the articulator and the amount of inner arch occlusal dimension can be inspected. Any modifications in the anatomy of the opposing occlusion should have been accomplished before the occlusal path recording was attempted. The recording wax is now removed and the temporary bases are stripped from the casting. The framework is replaced on the curing cast and attached firmly in position by flowing a hard wax between the ridge contour and the resin retaining units of the appliance. This will act as a base and ensure stability of the framework during the setting of the replacement teeth. Number one corrector wax is suitable for this procedure. The interocclusal spacing is again inspected with the framework firmly attached and the proper tooth selection is made. Using an articulating ribbon, the replacement tooth is marked on its inferior and proximal surface so that it can be adjusted and properly fitted to the residual ridge and to the partial denture framework. The replacement tooth is arbitrarily located in its buccal lingual relationship to the underlying edentulous ridge and is adjusted to proper anterior-posterior position. When this adjustment has been achieved, the replacement tooth is firmly waxed into position The occlusal surface is then adjusted to the template. The use of ribbon rather than paper prevents abrasion of the stone surface. The final closure is accomplished by reducing the occlusal surface contact. This reduction is carried on with small stones until a uniform equalized contact is achieved. This static articulation of the substitute teeth with the composite dynamic record will achieve an articulation in harmony with all centric and eccentric positions. In those instances where there is little inter arch dimension, most of the original occlusal anatomy may be destroyed during the adjustment procedures. Their surfaces should be reformed following processing of the base resin. When the replacement teeth are set and the mounting has been inspected to assure that all occlusal stops are closed, the curing cast may be removed from the articulator. The intermediary steps of try-in or occlusal check bites, which are a part of some procedures, are dispensed with when the occlusal pathways are recorded dynamically. 
the base contours are now waxed preliminary to processing. The saddles are given the desired buckle and lingual anatomy, properly smoothed and finally invested, flasked and processed. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.